buddy Eric here from Teachers Talk in Tech. Uh, just wanted to talk about um, this awesome app, Documents 5. And uh, we did a podcast on this, but I wanted to follow up and just to uh, show you how to do something we talked about. Now, this uh, app does a ton. It's a file managing app, um, which the iPad sorely needs because, as you know, if you use an iPad, uh, you can download pictures from the Internet, but what if you wanted to download um, a song from a website or uh, some other kind of file? It can be tough to uh, to do if it's not a picture. So let me give an example here. I'm going to open up the Documents 5 app. Okay. Now one thing is that here's your document manager, so it can save iTunes file, uh, photos. You can download things, tons of different things. You can download zipped files and unzip them. Um, so really nice features, okay? It can connect automatically to your iCloud, uh, Google Drive, Dropbox, a bunch of different uh, types of cloud storage. It can uh, link to all those uh, so you can easily move downloaded files around between your different cloud drives. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is uh, something I think that a lot of people might use, which would be, I, let's say I want to download a song that I want to use for uh, my, a project that I was doing, okay? Maybe an iMovie project. A lot of times people want to download video to add to that, like stock video of maybe uh, a big city, or maybe they wanted to download a song. I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So if you use the browser here, oh, and by the way, this is a free app, but there are add-ons, let me just show you those really quick, where you can add on more of their apps along with... Um, uh, the document app uh, to create your own suite of apps. So like PDF, uh, downloading and readers, um, printing, scanning, a lot of different things. But the basic is free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to browser. Okay, so this is the browser within Documents 5. Now I'm going to go, there's a, there's a few different sites that I use to get free audio and video. Um, one of them is called uh, Beachfront B-Roll. And Beachfront B-Roll is a great place to get uh, free video clips and things like that. But today, I'm going to do the Internet Archive. So, Internet Archive um, is a free place where you can find tons of open source um, or open uh, downloadable music. Let me just go to it and I'll show you. If you've never seen it before, it's just archive.org. And you can see here that you can download books, uh, videos, there are songs, files, pictures, audio recordings, tons of stuff. So let's search. You can either, actually, you can search or you can come down here into collections. Okay? So you can see there's tons of different collections of video and song and things like that. Okay? Look at old-timey radio. That might be good for a project I'm doing. Okay? So let me search for something. Maybe I'm looking for maybe uh, some jazz or something like that for a project. Okay. So let me just search. All right. Now you can see there's a ton of hits that I got here. But you can go to collections, concerts, tons of stuff here. Uh, there's I, I like this over here where you can get into collections. Um, but... Let's just go right here to the first thing we see, this free jazz. Okay, let's tap on it. And there it is. So this is a whole album here. You can go through and listen to the, the tracks and things like that. You can play it right up here. Now let's say I found the one that I want to download. So maybe it's this one, number four. Okay. And I've listened to it. It all sounds great. That's what I want. If I go down here you'll see that it says download options. Now, you're going to probably want MP3 because that's the type of music file that plays um, for, you know, for projects. So I would tap on that. Okay, and then I tap the one that I wanted. All right, which is this one right here. And you see it has that little download. Now it's going to ask me, all right, you want to save this to your uh, Documents 5 app? What do you want to name it? Okay, and then here's all, the, where is it going to go? So I'm going to hit done. All right. And you can see it's working on it and it's downloading it. Okay, and there it goes. Now when I tap these uh, three little mini buttons, I can go back 
and let me go to my documents. All right, and you can see now I have something in my downloads file. And there it is. Okay, so it downloaded that and it saved it. So the next part of this is, let's say I want to take this and I want to send it to a different app. Like I want to put it in um, to a project. Well, I tap on edit and select it. And now you can see I have some different options of things to do here. And here we go. Open in. Okay. And now I can open it in iMovie. You can see it right there. Or I can send it to a ton of different places. So let me just copy to iMovie. <clears throat> there it is. Boop. And it dropped that song right into my iMovie project. So now I got free open source music right into uh, my project. You could do the same thing with video too. If you're making a project and you need a video of, you know, Godzilla walking or you need a sunset, you can find a lot of those things open source online. Then you can download them to this app and then you can share them with uh, your different apps you have on your iPad uh, for whatever project you're doing. Okay, so again, this is the Documents 5 app and it is a fantastic app. I can't tell you enough about how great this is for doing projects and for file managing on your iPad. So check it out. It's a little confusing at first, but even if you just use it for downloading uh, video and audio, it's really the best app even for that. All right. Well, hopefully this uh, gave you some insight and some ideas into the end, and I hope you download it and check it out today. All right. Thanks for listening. This is Eric from Teachers Talking Tech, signing off.